Hi and welcome to the tutorial on the shape layer. The shape layer has a lot to it so we've divided the tutorial into two parts. The first part we'll be talking about how to add lines, points, polygons, and circles as well as how to change their colors, their default settings, and their columns. So first we're going to go up to add a new layer and we're going to go to custom shape layer and click it. Then you're going to bring your mouse to your screen and right click. And you'll see here that you can add, if you just want to add points, you can do that. Or if you know you want to add multiple things, you can go to the add points, lines, and polygons. So we're going to do that first. To add a point, you double click your mouse. We'll do that a couple times. To do a line, you click one time. And you'll see as you move your mouse, your line starts to draw. And if you click one time again, it'll change the direction or allow you to continue your line. If you want to end your line, you have to double click. To do a polygon, you have to make sure that the ends meet in order to close the polygon walls. If you don't do that, then the polygon won't form. So for example, this polygon doesn't, these two points don't end together. And so it just draws a line. So we'll try it one more time, but this time we'll have the ends meet and double click and it draws our polygon. To do a circle, you have to right click again and go to add circles and it'll give you an option on how you want to add that column to your other columns. We're just going to keep it at radius. To draw a circle, you have to click and hold your left mouse button and as you pull it away, that circle draws. So now we're going to go into custom shape layer and double click and go to adjustments and this area gives you the points, lines, polygons, and circles that you just drew. You'll see in the feature area it tells you what type your feature is and then it comes with all these other columns that you can erase if you don't want by just going up to the top and right clicking and then here you can see the different areas that you can turn on and turn off. So first we want to show you how to add labels. If you scroll down to the area that says label, you can click and add a label. And you'll see it selects that feature and then adds your label. And if you want to change the color, you would go down to fill color and you can double click and it'll bring you to colors that you can choose from. Press OK. If you want to do multiple ones, you can also do that. Press OK. And now if you go back to your screen, you'll see that those colors have changed. So now we're going to go back up to features and edit columns. This area allows you to add existing columns to your table. So here we're going to name it. And you're going to click type and pick the appropriate type. And then press add column. And you'll see that it added the column over here. And in order for this column to stay updated, you have to click this update all rows for it to be added to your other columns. Then you're going to press OK. If you go back to your columns, you'll see that that column was added. So we're going to go back up to Features and go to Edit Styles. This is a way to change your default settings. So if you notice on your main screen, you'll see that your circles and polygons and even points drew and filled with a white outline in a red fill color. So you can change that in your style settings. So if you don't want it to be red, you can change it to whichever color you'd like. You can also change the color of the outline. And as you can see, you can change several different things in here, including the point size. Press save. And you'll see that all of those have changed and updated. And as you continue to draw points or lines, it will keep that default setting that you just changed. So in order to save your work, you can do it a couple different ways. 
The way I like to do it is to go up to your Untitled and right click and go to se Save Select Files As. Here you can add the name and where you want to save your file and then just press save and you've saved your shapefile. Well that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for joining me.